brought to you by the Orange Show Center for Visionary Art. Today I'll show you how to attach a basket to your bike with household items. Let's get started. We need a basket first. There are several different kinds of baskets I'm going to show you today. Now if you'd like to personalize your basket, do so prior to attaching the basket. Here's some examples that I've done. So once you've decorated the front of your basket, you're ready to attach it. This basket, I'm going to use t-shirt strips to attach it. You may need an adult to help you do this part. Thread them through and get ready to attach to the bike. So once you're ready to attach it, get your t-shirt strips and tie it around your bike handles. You may need an adult to help you with this to get really tight and you might have to add more than just two. You want it pretty sturdy while you're riding around. The next example we have is with zip ties. Add the zip ties the right way might need an adult on this one too. Bend the zip tie around and lock it into place. So it won't wiggle. Ta-da! Excellent job. Thanks so much for crafting with us today. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, Q here, dropping some cycling knowledge brought to you by the Orange Show Center for Visionary Arts. Today, basic bike info. Basic Bike Breakdown 101. You have your handlebars, your front brake, your stem right here. This is your frame. Your frame literally holds everything together. Next thing, handlebars. One of the most important pieces on your bike. Stem and a headset. You also have your saddle, your seat post. Don't forget the wheels. When it comes to bikes, most cycles have the same fundamental hardware. Today, I'm here to show you what that hardware is. Your wheel set is made of many different parts. These are your spokes. They hold your rim in place and keep your rim straight. Your rim is what houses your inner tube. With that inner tube comes a valve. And this valve is what holds all your air. Not the tire, but the tube. This is your tire. It holds your tube. This is your skewer. And last but not least, your fork. stuff and here's your pedal everyone knows what a pedal is 
But did you know it's a part of a bigger set called the crank set? And here's your crank. Next, your chain ring. And your chain. You can't forget the rear hub. Bam. You might call it a seat, but we call it a saddle. And holding that saddle up is your seat post. And last but not least, your seat clamp. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any more questions, don't forget to check out our website at orangeshow.org or you can look us up on Facebook at Orange Show Center for Visionary Art. Today I'll be showing you how to add streamers to your bicycle grips. We'll need a few things before we can get started. Vinyl tape, scissors, and tape. Let's go. that you'd like. We can make sure they're to a better size once we get them attached. So combine all of your vinyl tape and making it into a point. Securing it with your tape. Make sure you get it all in there and all real tight. There we go. Excellent. Now we've got that. Now, we can add more streamers by cutting the tape in different sizes and lengths. Once you have that, your grip has a hole in it. If it doesn't have a hole in it, we'll show you in another moment how to make that work. So you might need an adult supervision to help you get this into your grip hole. Once you've gotten that, then you can adjust the lengths of your streamers. Ta-da!
attach your streamers from the plastic bag and straw into your bike grip. Usually there's a hole there. You may need an adult to help you push this in there pretty tight. There we go, that's pretty good. It's okay if it sticks out this far. There you go, how about that? There's your streamer from a plastic bag. Now let's attach our ribbon. With the ribbon one, we're gonna need that zip tie. So here's our ribbons, all pretty and real full. So just take that zip tie, go ahead and attach it to itself, and then all you do is put it around and make it as tight as you'd like or as loose. Excellent. Thank you for crafting with us today. And if you have any questions, please visit orangeshow.org for any further information. Please look for us next week. We'll bring another craft tip for you for your bike. Thank you. Bye-bye. Today, I teach you the difference between fixed gear and free wheel. Fixed gears allow you to ride your bike as if you're totally connected to the road, while free wheel gives you freedom to ride more relaxed and coast through your ride. A fixed gear bike is basically a bike that has a drivetrain without a free wheel mechanism. Basically, you pedal forward, the bike moves forward, pedal backwards, and the bike moves back. Free wheels allow you to rest. They're way less tiresome on your legs. This happens when the driven shaft is spinning faster than this drive shaft. Fixies are more common with street cyclists, while free wheels are more common with families, those who are riding casually. This has been another bike tip brought to you by the Orange Show Center for Visionary Arts. My name is Q, and if you have any more questions, feel free to stop by our website at orangeshow.org, or you can check us out on Facebook at Orange Show Center for Visionary Art. Hey guys, Q here with another cycling tip brought to you by the Orange Show Center for Visionary Arts. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to patch your tube. You will need a patch kit consisting of, patch kits usually consist of your standard large and small patches, sandpaper for scoring, and your glue. You'll also need your inner tube, a bike pump, and a bucket of water. Step one, pump up your tube. Whenever you start seeing bubbles, 
that's when you've located your hole. And after you do locate that hole, don't forget to mark it with white Conti or a piece of chalk so that you don't lose it. After you've located your hole, the next step is to deflate your tire. And start sanding. Now that hole that you see is gonna need to be scored with some very fine sandpaper. Reason why you do that is to make sure that your patch itself doesn't come off. Kind of gives it a grip to, to hold on to. And don't forget to score just that hole. Sand that down. Don't be too rough, but you don't want to be too gentle either. After you've sanded down the area, Our hole right there. After you've sanded down the area, your next step is your patch and your glue. Your patch and your glue, two of the most important pieces in this puzzle. The easiest way to do this, that I like to do it, is step one you'll peel your patch from its base. Step two, you're gonna take your glue and you're gonna use it to cover the hole, okay? You really don't need too much, but make sure you actually plug the hole itself. Otherwise, this exercise is pointless. And you're gonna place your patch. Now, the thing about patches is that you wanna make sure you have glue on the entire piece. Because if you don't, air will seep out. And if air seeps out, you might have to get another patch or getting another tube. So make sure you have glue surrounding the entire area of the hole. Once you patch, once you patch your tire, you're gonna hold it until the glue is dry. What I like to do is use a clamp and put the little mini clamp on there but if you don't have a clamp available your fingers are all will always work now after your glue is dried your final step is to peel that piece of plastic right here off of your patch and once you peel it off of your patch, your patch will come out looking something like this. See, there's no holes and no air can get out. Now patches are rubber and they do hold, but they're not meant to be forever. So be sure to replace your tube whenever you get a chance and enjoy your ride. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. If you have any more questions, feel free to check out our website at hornshow.org or you can check us out on Facebook at Hornshow Center for Visionary Art.
guys, Q here with another cycling tip brought to you by the Orange Show Center for Visionary Arts. Today, my 10 tips on cycling safety. Are you ready for the road? Tip number one, always wear a helmet. Step two. Don't forget to use verbal and non-verbal communication. Yo, I'm riding here. Right turn. Tip three, use a bike light so you can see and be seen. Step four, always keep a U-lock and proper cycling tools such as a patch kit, a pump, and even a wrench if you have one. Never know when you're gonna get in those cycling scrapes. Skr, skr. Always look both ways before you cross the street. Clear. Number six, obey the rules of the road. Stop means stop. Step seven, watch out for loose fitting clothing. That means don't forget to tie your shoes. Okay guys, step eight, always check your equipment. Step number nine, no headphones or earbuds of any kind. They really stop you from hearing what's going on around you. Above all, don't forget to have fun. Okay, guys, once again, thank you for stopping by. This has been your 10 cycling safety tips brought to you by The Orange Show. If you have any more questions, don't forget to visit our website at orangeshow.org or you can follow us on Facebook at Orange Show Center for Visionary Art. Another craft tip brought to you by the Orange Show Center for Visionary Art. Today's tip, how to personalize the body of your bike. Let's get started. There are several ways to apply personality to the body of your bike. Some are temporary and some are permanent. To decorate the body of your bike, here are a few items you might have in your house to do so. Stickers, vinyl tape, duct tape, and for a more permanent solution, spray painting your bike. So let's get decorating. You'll need to decide what kind of design you'd like. Once you've decided, then choose your items to implement your vision. Today, I'm gonna to implement my vision with vinyl tape and securing it with some nice glitter tape to finalize my design. How creative are you gonna be? If you don't have any vinyl tape, Duct tape will work as well, and your stickers can be added all over. If you'd like a more permanent decoration, spray painting is another option for you. To be effective at it, you need to take the bike apart, tape it off, and spray paint your vision. Those are just a few options to decorate your bike. If you'd like more information, please visit orangeshow.org or Facebook, the Orange Show Center for Visionary Art. 
Thanks again for crafting. See you next time. Another craft tip brought to you by the Orange Show Center for Visionary Art. Today's tip is how to decorate your helmet. To add personalization to your bike helmet, you'll need a few items, some you might have in your house. If you've got pipe cleaners, they're awesome to make flowers with. Puffy stickers, paint pens, and duct tape. Today I'm going to start with some stickers first. Once you figure out what you'd like to do, you may cut out and start applying. Then I'll move over to the paint pens. Add some more details to that to bring out my color. Take your time and be careful, and you'll get a beautiful design. If you have pipe cleaners around, they're awesome to make flowers with. And attaching them through the holes, just bend them around. Excellent. And since this is temporary, you can take them off and add new ones as you want. Take your time and build well. Great job. Uh... And here comes some flowers. If you have pipe cleaners, you can make your own and attach them to your helmet. Thank you for crafting with us today. If you have any questions, go to our website, oringshow.org, or follow us on Facebook, the Orange Show Center for Visionary Art. Thanks again. Bye-bye.